Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we're finding and learning and turning the great strategy games. Today, back into the big one, Gary Grigsby's War in the Pacific Admirals Edition, our PBEM challenge with the devious Lodric, and he has been devious indeed in this one. Now, he's already warned me that there wasn't a lot of... I haven't watched this one yet. A lot of times I'll watch them first. Now, I was going to go ahead and record an episode very quickly, I'll say very quickly, I was going to do a pretty extensive episode of where we are all over the map and what we're doing. Uh, but Ludrick said there's not a whole lot of action this turn. Now, I don't know what he means by that because he's been bombing the living crud out of us. So it could be, uh, you know, all kinds of, he could just be, you know, doing some kind of misdirection on me here. But he's told me there's not a whole lot that happens in this one. Um, We'll see, and then I'm going to then do the more extensive, uh, you know, setup uh, recap type episode to just catch you up where we are on our side. Um, but I kind of like it doing it this way, doing, you know, a few combat resolutions and then doing an episode saying, okay, well, here's where we are and what's going on in this game. Um, so anyway, let's jump into this. Let's see if Lodric has been devious indeed and see what happens. It's going to be December 27th as day one of this turn. Day two, uh, obviously December 28th, unless I don't know how to count. Um, so we're getting almost to the end of 1941 here. I would have to say at this point, we're fine. Uh, not great. I, I'm probably the worst off I've been in one of these games in a long, long time. Uh, Lodric's doing a very good job in China. Uh, with his extensive bombing and also trying to surround us in certain places. He's been successful in that. Uh, he's also hit a lot of our cargo ships, uh, far more than I would ever like to lose. Now, that's not fatal by any stretch of the imagination. But it uh, is a thorn in our side, Laudrick. Uh, so well done. Um, okay, uh, we're merging a lot of stuff as I continue this campaign of getting everything escorted wherever it's going. Um, we'll see, uh, you know, once you have those escorts in there, you should be in a lot better position when you run into subs, your destroyers should detect them. They should get the first kind of line of fire with the sub and hopefully scare the sub off, knock it back, have it retreat, uh, hell, hell hit it with a depth charge, whatever the case may be. Uh, but we've got a lot of destroyers out there now, and they're all with our big task forces. Now, that doesn't mean he's not going to pick off a ship here or there, because we just can't escort everything. We've got way too much stuff that has to move uh, all around this map, and we just certainly don't have enough dest destroyers to protect all of it. But the high-value ships are now all protected, and no more will be sent out without any protection. Okay, here he is at Tajilla Jap, and it looks like we've got a bunch of little small uh, ships here. I'm not exactly sure uh, what they are. Maybe local minesweepers, and they are indeed. Three local minesweepers are sunk. So, again, you know, uh, it's not great i mean they're all one point ships so again if we're going to lose ships these are the ones to lose but you don't want to lose any uh but some of these places especially around the dutch east indies there's just no good place for them to go they're going to get trapped when he's got big surface fleets like this i mean unless you just want to completely give up on any kind of mine sweeping in which case i guess you could send them all to australia uh and just have them sit there but I don't, I don't know. That seems a little gamey to me, if nothing else. I mean, that's not what the Dutch are going to do with their minesweepers. Uh, so, you know, three points lost, three ships to the bottom of the sea. Uh, they'll give people good diving opportunities in the future. Um, okay, we're merging again. You, you see all of these mergings that are going on. All of these are destroyers meeting up with our task forces. Uh, some of these are also, uh, you know, retreating from combat uh, over by the Dutch East Indies. But anything out here is merging uh, to, you know, get it out of his line of fire. And there is a lot of it. All right, he spotted, now those were his spottings, he spotted ships of ours uh, that are uh, headed towards New Zealand. Uh, that must be where the Kido Butai is headed 
you know, sort of. I, I don't know if he's going to go all the way to Auckland or something, uh, but it, he seems to have moved out in that direction. Kind of going through all the sightings this time because I'm just a little curious where some of his stuff is. Now, generally, I watch that in my first watch through, uh, but I kind of skip through it for you guys usually. Uh, but sometimes it's kind of give you, you know, a sense of the game at that moment. All right, he's sweeping through with zeros. We've seen this a million times before. We had one I-16 up. That's probably not going to last. Oh, he lived. Good job, guy. Man, I tell you what, you got to have nerves of steel to be piloting that I-16 against nine zeros in air-to-air -air combat. Uh, <laughs> that... You don't get enough combat pay for that kind of stuff. 9-0 sweeping over Singapore. Uh, we got one Blenheim up in the air. I'm not sure if it's still up in the air. Hey, we didn't lose that guy either. Okay. He has not started a major bombing campaign against Singapore yet. Uh, that is coming, certainly. Uh, it's just a matter of when, not if. Uh, Betty's and Nell's in on Kuala Lumpur. Uh, we damaged a couple of planes, and there were six casualties reported. Now he's bombing out here at Cheng Chow, uh, which is, you know, ob uh, actually that was not bombing. That was two zeros doing a sweep above town. Uh, let's see, he's doing the same over Cheng Sha, just seeing if we have any cap up. All right, here comes some bombing. bombing. Sonia's and Mary's in over this group that uh, is kind of in between Cheng Chao and this group that's down by Sin Yang. You can't see them now. Sometimes it doesn't show you all the unit counters during bombing, bombing runs. Now, they must have some good AA because they keep damaging a lot of planes. Uh, five damage Sonia's there. We took 41 casualties, though. And then they're going to get hit again, these poor guys. Uh, he took no losses. We took 32 casualties. Now he's going to hit this group that, again, is trying to get back here to Yan'an, but this is really tough terrain to try to move through, uh, and they're getting the crud bombed out of him. So that's 75 casualties as he just continues to mount that score. I'd love to know the exact number of bombing casualties we have in China. It's got to be approaching... Hell, I don't know, 20 or 25,000 men, seriously. Uh, two Sally's damaged over this group in Malaysia. Uh, doesn't look like he hit the target, but he's going to try again. Uh, no casualty or no losses for him there. Seven casualties reported for us. All right, ands and zeros coming in on a bombing run. Now, this is that big main force uh, just outside of Sin Yang. This is a lot. I think this has a thousand combat value, all of the groups here. Uh, and so, you know, we'll see uh, what exactly we want to do with this. He's got a lot of forces right in this area. He's trying to cut off Cheng Chao and Luoyang and force us out of those bases. We've got a huge force at Nan Yang. We've got a, huge, a pretty big force here. Uh, maybe we could try to get the old nutcracker working on him there. Seven casualties reported. Now he's hitting Ku Kong, and I can tell you Ku Kong's going to be a real focal point here shortly because I've got a lot of troops coming to Ku Kong. Uh, I don't want to lose it this early. Now he is going to be attacking in there. Uh, spoiler alert, he, I believe he's going to take that base. Um, and he's bombing there again. He does a great job of bombing before attacks. Seven casualties reported there. The reason I say he's going to take that base is because we don't have hardly anything there now. We've got a couple of commands there. Uh, I didn't realize it was quite that uncovered, but I've got a lot of stuff railing that way. 13 casualties reported for us there out by Pao Tao. The usual old bombing at Pao Tao. Uh, we take 94 casualties there with no planes being damaged. All right, out in Malaysia. Uh, one damage plane didn't hit the target. All right, uh, Tojo's and Sonia's in. Nothing happened there. Now he's going to hit that uh, that group out at Pakau, Pakoi, and you can see the divot on his counter. He's moving this way. He's going to attack these guys, uh, and he's bombing them first. 59 casualties there. 
Uh, this group that is trying desperately to get down to this hex. They've been marching forever, but they just keep getting interdicted by his bombing. Uh, they take nine casualties. Okay, uh, now you can see there is where the Keto Butai is. So he's moved all the way between Norfolk and Lord Howe Island. He's way down in the Tasman Sea here. You don't often see the main Japanese task force this far south. Uh, but here he is. Hello, how are you doing, Mr. Japanese? Uh, he got a little AKL in there. A little one-point cargo ship. Um, okay. You know, I mean, I don't know what to do about it. Uh, the, you, you've only got so many places to hide, uh, and we're trying to run. As a matter of fact, when Ludric sent me this turn, or, or he sent me his uh, turn for me to start to set up, he said, uh, you're playing chicken. Well, yeah, <laughs> get your damn carriers away from uh, Australia and New Zealand, and then you'll see how, how tough we are. Uh, but, I mean, there's just absolutely nothing. It's not like we have planes. We don't have, obviously, what do we have, Australian carriers? We're going to send the Kiwi carriers out there to get him? Like, you know, yeah, of course, I'm, I'm running. Uh, but Ludwig, he meant it in good fun. He's a good guy. Um, Betty's and Nell's coming in here at Brunei. Uh, I don't even think we have anything at Brunei. Oh, we do. We have a base force there. I'm sorry. I, or, yeah, I guess we do. I guess they made it over here. This, that group that was on the run must have gotten to Brunei. They took 15 casualties there. Uh, these again are our guys trying to get the hell out of Malaysia. Well, at least get to the southern tip of it. 14 casualties there. Uh, he's in on Vigon. 51 Bettys. Wow, that's a lot of bombers. Uh, three of them got damaged, but we took 122 casualties. That for, there's not going to be much left of that force uh, by the time he gets there. 16 Lilies on, on this group. Uh, no casualties there. Now he's approaching uh, this force. This is another one of these forces that's uh, retreating back, and he just hits them over and over. Uh, one damage plane, no casualties. All right, we got a read on this task force down there by Oosthaven, by the way. Uh, Tajilla Jap, these, this is us. These are our bombers uh, coming in, uh, trying to hit a destroyer. Uh, as we talked about last episode, you know, I mean, this is a real just crapshoot. You know, you may, you may you maybe get a hit uh, one out of 100 times, and that's what we're going for. Um, we got some L212s approaching his destroyer. Uh, we had one damage, didn't do any damage to the, to the ships. We keep sighting aircraft over Palembang, but we haven't actually been bombed by anything yet. Of course, that's coming. All right, and that was the uh, naval and air phases, or at least the early ones. And now we'll get into any land combat, if there is any. All right, here's the land move attack phase. Uh, he's attacking here. Is he bombarding? Yeah, this is a group. Oh, no, he was just bombarding Kuala Lumpur. He has now taken Kuala Lumpur. Well, we had a, we had abandoned it. Um, sometimes I'll try to put up a defense there. We have a rather large force here, but I'm actually going to try to get them down here by Singapore. I, I don't even know if I'll put them all the way in Singapore, but we're going to try to get them down here. Uh, Kuala Lumpur, they would eventually have gotten surrounded um, and just starved out. And so, I don't know, that didn't seem like a good idea to me. Yep, here it is, Kukong. I knew that this was weak, and if he was bombing it, uh, that he was probably going to move into that hex and try to take it. He's got a rather large force. Let's actually count it up. It looks like he's got, I'm going to say about a 700 to 800 assault value here. We only had one core here. Uh, then we had, you know, a base force, and you know some commands but we only had one core out here and he's gonna take kukong we just didn't have a defense there as i said i have got a lot of troops coming down this rail so we'll see um okay so these guys retreat towards Kansen. 
fine. We'll put them over here in... Have I been calling that other base consent? Potentially. And that looks like it was the only land combat this time around. And we start to build our fortifications up. And we'll jump over to December 28th. So Lodric uh, was on the mark for uh, at least day one of this turn, December 27th. Uh, there was not a whole lot that went on. I mean, he took Kukong, he took Kuala Lumpur. Those are huge. Those would be huge headlines in the news. Do 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 Dateline. Um, but, you know, ultimately that was going to happen. It, it's just, you know, I mean, there wasn't a lot of action around it. We had uh, abandoned Kuala Lumpur. Um, Kukong, I'm a little more upset about. I, I don't like to give up anything on that major rail in China. In this case... We just didn't have enough there. We're a little spread out. Usually, and I was thinking back about why I had that a little uncovered, usually I've gotten all those troops that are in southeast China out, and I've put some of them in Kukong, or I've dropped back the ones that are at in that base to the east of it. I've dropped them back to Kukong. In this case, I have not, or I haven't been able to get those troops out, and so it's kind of messed a little bit with the setup. Uh, oh, we're retreating... Okay, he must have some kind of surface combatant down there by Rangoon. Kind of curious what that's about. Must be, I mean, he's had a sub down there for a couple of turns, uh, but I thought it had left. Okay, you can see the pickerel is trying to get some repairs done. That's not a good place to be trying to get repairs done. Okay, this is off Kuching. This is a Dutch sub. Uh, and it's an ASW attack. So the Japanese found us, the PB Kaiomaru. Uh, we were located, but then he could never uh, do anything. He couldn't get a read on us. Uh, so, you know, he's done a good job with his shipping that's come over to Malaysia. We haven't hit much, or at least not as much as you usually do with the Dutch subs. I'm running the same patrol that I usually do, but I, I've kind of now started to change that uh, because he's obviously a little wise to our patrol zones out there, or at least he's done a good job of avoiding them. All right, uh, this is that same ASW uh, battle out here and said, we we now shoot at him. Uh, get out of here, Kyo Maru number 11. Uh, we launched two torpedoes, obviously nothing hit. Now we're merging more. You can tell we lost a lot less cargo last time. Now, again, we're going to lose a ship here or there, but no more of this willy-nilly just losing ships left and right, um, whether they be one-point ships or not. You know, we, if we do lose them, it's just going to be kind of blind luck where we just happen to run right over one of his patrols, and it's one of our smaller vessels uh, that we kind of have to send out from time to time unescorted. Uh, but there's not going to be any major ships that are unescorted at this point. All right. He is uh, sweeping over Changsha. And no, uh, we didn't didn't hit anything there. Uh, this looks like us bombing him. Um... Interesting. So he got some zeros up. That's not going to be good for us. No, I see what it is. He's sweeping over Batavia. He got tired of us doing these bombing runs, so he swept over Batavia with zeros and destroyed four of our 339Ds and three of our of our demons here. Uh, so smart move by him. You know, he got tired of those bombing attacks on his navy because eventually one of those was going to hit. Uh, we're just doing enough of them that you're going to get lucky once. And he's finally said enough of that. Um, OK, he came in here bombing south of Kuala Lumpur. Uh, one Nell, one Betty damage. We took 50 casualties. Now he's actually bombing straight into Cheng Chow. And nope, that was a sweep. Uh, 11 zeros swept over the top uh, into Changsha with some zeros and a sweep. I say some zeros. It's one zero. Uh, nothing. We don't we don't really have any air power in China, of course. Uh, this group, again, 16 casualties. He's gotten a lot of planes damaged for this group that's got nothing left. I, <laughs> I mean, they're in bad shape. Um, he's sweeping with the zeros again. Uh, we put nothing up in the air, so... 
that worked out. Now he's going to sweep up over Singapore. We've got two Blenheims up in the air. See if they can do anything. Probably not. They're probably just going to get shot down. Nope, we didn't lose anything. He didn't either. All right, he's bombing. It appears these are coming from Formosa, now Taiwan. Uh, this, you know, group of infantry that's trying to get all together here in southeastern China. Uh, nine Nels, we took 39 casualties. All right, this is that group that's in no man's land, and we just can't move them. He bombs them every single turn. Now, he took, again, five more damaged planes. Hopefully, some of those went down uh, operationally before they got back to the uh, airfield. We'll never know. Uh, 160 casualties reported. So, I mean, that was well worth it for him. Um, 24 Marys coming in. We took 23 casualties. He took no losses or damage. Uh, Lily's coming in on this group, 16 casualties. Fifty-three Sallies in on the same group. These poor guys have just—they've got to have just shell shock at this point. Uh, Twenty-four casualties reported, and then twenty more Sallies said, "Hey, we'll just bomb you when we come back around for good measure." Seven more casualties reported. Uh, Sally's all over this group over here, interdicting them. Two Sally's damage. He didn't hit target there. Uh, 37 Ands. We took uh, 31 casualties there. Again, this is the groups uh, going, trying to get back across the mountains to Yan'an. Uh, damage one Sally. We took 45 casualties. Uh, hey, once again, he bombs out at the Patal bombing campaign. Uh, 79 casualties reported there. Again, I don't think a torpedo bomber is over Nanyang, even though that's what the game said uh, that we had sighted. Or at least one of our watchers said we've sighted it. I love that about this game, though. You get inaccurate information. Sonia's and Tojo's in on this group. They've been interdicted so many times, but they're almost where I want them. Seven casualties, uh, 25 Ida's now. Uh, 31 casualties reported there. Got a little bombing here. Again, another group trying to get to Yunnan. We take 26 casualties there. Uh, the same group just south of Changsha. They didn't hit target. So this has really been a lot of bombing this time around. Um, and that's about it. Uh, you should see a reduction in the naval combat uh, with some of the changes I've made. All right, this is that same base force trying to get... <laughs> they started at Kota Baru. They haven't gone very far because they just have gotten absolutely shredded with bombing. Uh, four more Nels just, you know, to say goodbye as they go back to the airfield. All right, uh, so that's the bombing. Let's see if we got any land combat this time around. I'd love to know where the other half of the Keto Batai is. I would imagine he's got it somewhere over by Singapore. That would be normal, but I, we really don't know. We haven't spotted his other carriers. Um, it could be one of these two groups out here. Uh, he may bring that down and replace his other one as it goes up to get refueled. You can see he's got three major groups out here. Uh, he's bombing into Brunei. Okay, seven casualties there. I don't even, I'm surprised they had seven men left. Now he's bombing this group that got kicked out of Kukong. Uh, we took 30 casualties there. Uh, now he's hitting them yet again. We take 22 more casualties. He's hitting into uh, Pakwao. Or Pakoi? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how the locals say it. 31 casualties reported. Okay, this is us trying to bomb again. Uh, you know, he very smartly ran those zeros over. As a matter of fact, that must be his other carrier task force uh, or other big one. Now, he's got like carriers that he can send out kind of on its own. But as you see, he's got a real net here of... Uh, Pretty cool. Um, okay, uh, we tried to hit the light cruiser, the Asuzu. That did not work. Uh, 
All right, a lot more sightings. Aircraft landing. Now we'll see if there's any ground unit stuff. Uh, okay, well, this will be the, the ship we lose, it seems. I had one last ship, well, I had two, actually, coming into Pago Pago by themselves. It's an AK, uh, and his Japanese sub got into him. Gosh darn it. He's done a great job with the subs. Uh, we lose this AK. Again, it's a replaceable ship, but that's probably 10 or 11 points, uh, and it adds up. Uh, that's probably going to go down, and sure enough, it does sink. I mean, I've got so many destroyers coming in there, but he, he's really just picked off that one or two ships that are out there by themselves. Uh, but if we lose one cargo ship a turn, the rest of the game will be all right. Um, seven casualties as he bombards Brunei. Uh, he's now landed at Brunei, and he should take that uh, um, almost immediately. Uh, he's also now coming into Sarong. Uh, which puts him on the north end of Dutch New Guinea. Um, it looks like he's preparing here anyway. He's got two AKs that are out here, uh, so he must have an invasion force coming this way. Yeah, there he is. He's uh, unloading at Sarong to get a kind of a northern foothold on uh, Papua New Guinea. That's that's the New Guinea portion of Papua New Guinea. Uh, but then he'll start making his way down Rabaul and Port Moresby, uh, certainly where he'll be coming in the not too distant future. Uh, land move attack phase. Let's see if we get anything. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like there was any land. Uh, combat anyway and yep sure enough we're uh, expanding our fortifications and I think that's going to do it so uh, promise the next episode because I'm going to actually do it right now is uh, a really in-depth about where we are what we're setting up what I'm trying to do uh, or accomplish and we'll get about that uh, next time so anyway this has been Strategy Gaming Dojo hope you're enjoying this I know I am have a good one talk to you next time